this is Mount Uyi in China. The natural landscape and cultural heritage complement, integrate, and shape each other, remarkably achieving both the World Cultural Heritage Site. And World Natural Heritage Site titles from UNESCO. It also creates a new phenomenon of the environment and humanities integration and the active development of nature and culture. Si Shui Gui Town. The water of four directions returning to the hall is the name of this ancient residence from the Qing Dynasty. It is located in Wufu Town, Wu Yi Shan, Mount Wu Yi City. It was originally the private residence of a scholar during the Qing Dynasty. It has been renovated and transformed into the Wufu Folk Culture Museum. Highlighting the remains of Zhu Zi, Zhu Xi culture in this land. Zhu Xi was a master of Neo Confucianism and one of the iconic figures of Confucianism in China's feudal era. His academic ideas became the official philosophy of the feudal ruling class in the Yuan, Ming, and Qing dynasties and were powerful spiritual pillars that upheld the rules of feudal society. Mount Uyi was undoubtedly the richest and the most colorful aspect of Zhu Xi's life. At the age of 14, Zhu Xi moved with his mother to Wufu town, Wu Yishan, and has settled here for nearly 50 years. The landscape of Mount Uyi nurtured Zhu Xi and provided him with nourishment and inspiration. Here, he gave lectures, built Uyi Academy, gathered scholars throughout the world, and completed a large number of works, such as the Enlightenment of the Book of Changes, Corrections for the Classic of Filial Piety, Elementary Learning, and annotations to the Book of Poetry, Zhu Zi Culture, which formed around Zhu Xi, is the most dazzling existence in the cultural heritage of Mount Uyi. The Wufu Folk Culture Museum was initiated by the Zhu Zi Culture Research Center. It is a private cultural platform established to more effectively collect Zhu Zi related cultural relics that are scattered among the people and display and exchange them to the outside world. Jiang Li Huang is collecting and purchasing Asian books at the market. He is in charge of the Wufu Folk Culture Museum. Growing up in Wufu Town, with the influence of Zhu Zi culture, Jiang Li Huang firmly believed that protecting the Zhu Zi culture is his responsibility. He often wanders in various markets as he looks for antiquities. This time, he bought a copy of Zhu's genealogy. Soon, it will be restored and displayed in the museum. This是我父亲当时我们一起收藏了很多珠子有关的还有民俗文化有关的一些文物就需要一个体现的展示的地方我们古镇又要需要保护我们就选了一栋比较代表性的清代一个举人的房子叫四水归堂 
Thanks to Jianli Huang ciphers, an increasing number of Juzi folk relics have been carefully collected. And this old house has become a place full of cultural charm as the foot of Mount Wuyi. Uh,我们又真的又理解了他的理学方面的一些普世价值。我们更应该把传统的珠子文化啊进行这个继承跟弘扬。当然，我们个体的能力是比较有限，但是我相信只要每个人都尽自己所能去做好这个事情，就众人
in June 2016. By following the approval of the National Development and Reform Commission of the People's Republic of China on the Pilot Implementation Plan for the Wuishan National Park Pilot Area, and due to efforts to turn Wuishan National Park into an ecological civilization system innovation zone. The protection of Mount Wuyi's heritage has been further upgraded and officially entered the legal system. Nowadays, with intelligent management and control, strict restoration, scientific strategies and responsible supervision, the resources and environment of Wuyishan National Park and the protection of culture and natural heritage have been further strengthened. And the authenticity and integrity of the national park's ecosystem have become more stable. It, the innovation path for the heritage protection model has never stopped. In 2018, the creative concept of an ecological bank to further improve the protection of culture and natural heritage was proposed in Wu Yishan. The so called ecological bank is to integrate the fragmented resources captured in the hands of the people. Under the operation of the ecological bank platform company, it becomes a developable asset package to connect the development and operation of the industrial and commercial capital formation project in the countryside. It is a model which can ensure the benefit of the people, village collectives, investors, and the government. This is the first Nowadays, with the launch of the Ecological Bank pilot work, the government takes the lead in planning and designing the development of Mount Uyi, ensuring the scientific nature of every measure and achieving a mutually beneficial situation in terms of economic and social benefits. The protection of Mount Uyi natural and cultural heritage is being implemented like a game of chess. Jiu Chuxi River is a stream in the southeast of Huanggang Mountain, the highest peak of Mount Uyi. Because Mount Uyi has 36 peaks and 99 large rock formations, the mountain range is covered in peaks and rocks and creates crossing streams. And the Jiu Chuxi River runs through them. The 15 Li Long, approximately 4.66 miles river, has three turns and nine bands. Hence its name, Jiu Chuxi River, Nine Band River. The beauty of Mount Wuyi is on full display with its towering mountains and creeks. As one of the most prestigious natural ecological landscapes in Mount Wuyi, the protection of Jiu Chuxi River has always been the key to testing the success of Mount Uyi's natural and cultural heritage protection. Leading the administrative enforcement of the Jiu Chuxi Basin is Wang Guilin, the captain of the Jiu Chuxi River Law Enforcement Unit, the administrative law enforcement brigade of Wuyishan Scenic Area. 
due to the river has good water quality and an excellent environment. It is the original home of a special fish species called Spiny Barbus hollandi. Because it is rare and precious, it has also become the target of the countless illegal fishermen. This is from the time of the This is This is This is Wang Guilin has been protecting fish for more than 20 years. Compared with protecting water quality, the battle against illegal fishermen has always been difficult because of the large watershed area, the number of illegal fishermen is high, and the time the yearly fish is irregular. Wang Guilin and his colleagues working hours need to be stretched indefinitely. Sometimes, in addition to patrolling during the day, Wang Guilin also needs to do night patrolling. Because illegal fishing at night is often more rampant than it is during the day. Protecting fish may seem like insignificant work. But it is immensely important to the protection of aquatic resources in the entire Wu Yishan area. It forms an indispensable part of the systemic work of natural and cultural heritage protection, and plays an important role in the maintenance of the natural ecology and the biodiversity of the area. The staff of the Wu Yishan Meteorological Bureau also focuses on protecting Jiu Chui Si River by using scientific methods to inspect Jiu Chui Si River. This scientific inspection method has been accessed for a long time in Wu Yishan. The continuous and long-term water level collection and inspection of Jiu Chui Si River reflects the changes of submerged vegetation in the core area of the National Park Reserve. The data obtained from high precision and multi factor collection not only provides meteorological decision making for the protection of the World Heritage Site but also provides accurate data and examples for related scientific research projects. Now, it has become an important means of protection for the heritage site. We can use the wind-based technology to improve the natural disasters, such as the wind, wind, and wind. We can also use the wind-based technology to improve the natural disasters, such as the wind, 随体的变化等情况，我们利用这些大卫星的数据技术来研究人类活动和全球气候变化对武夷山生态环境的影响。当然，我们还可以用卫星遥感当地的这种茶树的种植情况，它的长势、产量等，甚至包括对茶叶种
reflecting the resource and environmental factors in the process of economic activities in the national economic accounting system, and reduce the costs of resource depletion and deducting environmental degradation, ecological damage costs, and pollution control costs from the total GDP. Since then, this complex accounting system has been applied to the protection of Mount Uyi to directly reflect the relationship between the input and output of Mount Uyi protection efforts. Kaizan Today, through repeated research, collecting data on the ecological resources of various departments, and adapting and counting methods of combining physical quantity and value, Wu Yishan regularly calculates the cost of environmental degradation, the cost of ecological damage, and the total value of ecosystem production to better understand the progress of Wu Yishan's ecological production efforts. A green development evaluation system has been established to facilitate the exploration of a set of advanced, sustainable, and replicable experience, which has become one of the important methods for the protection of Mount Uyi World Culture and Natural Heritage Site. By guarding its culture, passing its spirit down to future generations, focusing on science and pursuing innovation. The protection of Mount Uyi's natural and cultural heritage is becoming more systematic, modern and efficient. The verdant mountains overlap as the ice-cold stream water bends the lotuses. The stunning scenery of Mount Uyi